Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. You know, when we talk about uh, a 17-year-old a, a white boy in Georgia, you know, when he basically kicked his assistant principal and making terrorist threats to a high school, which led him not only being free, but he ended up being in a mental institution. Now, this story um, in South Carolina, when you have a 17-year-old boy making threats to black people, making racist threats to black people, and the similar part in Georgia that he's making, threatening to shoot the entire school as well. But here's the kicker of this one. He will not be charged with this because guess what? There's no hate crime in the state of South Carolina. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video, this news video, and then I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. Right now, a private school in Columbia is having a forum with parents after police say a former student posted threatening racist videos about African Americans and made threats to shoot up the school. Now, this is a story we've been following for you all week, and it's gained a lot of national attention. Today, Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott held a news conference talking about the controversial threats made by the 16-year-old boy at Cardinal Newman School. Lott says his department was shown the videos July the 13th, but based on the initial videos, there were no charges that could be brought at the time. The teen has since been charged with one count of making school threats. But state officials say the teen will not face any charges for the racist rhetoric in the videos because South Carolina does not have a hate crime law. Um, our state has done a lot. We suffered a lot after the manual nine. I think we made a lot of progress. But it is an absolute shame that this state does not have a law against hate crime. And if this is not an example of why we should have a state law, I can't imagine anything else that could happen. Sheriff Lott says the reason his office didn't disclose the arrest of the student or for more than two weeks is because they felt that there was no threat to the school once the student was arrested. Parents and community members are still discussing the next steps in this case. And Jenna Kurzina from our CBS affiliate in Columbia has more on the story. He may have made a threat to one particular school, but he was also making threats against all African Americans in general. According to the Richland County Sheriff's Department, a Cardinal Newman student is seen on video making racist threats, pretending to shoot black people, and he also threatened to shoot up the school. Weeks after the student was arrested, the video has now circulated within the community. And Annabelle Robertson says her daughter brought it to her attention after receiving it. It was a terrorist video, and he was making threats against people in our community, and that information was kept under wraps. News 19 has decided to show only still images of the violent videos. They were shared to Robertson's daughter in a text. After Robertson saw it, she shared it on social media. I put the videos on social media because I, first of all, I believe they were already circulating in the public sphere, but I was not aware of how widely they were being circulated and i wanted parents in our community who follow me and follow my accounts to be aware that this sort of thing was happening so that they could take the necessary steps with their children and with their schools to protect them so it was out of concern robertson says her daughter and some of her friends were worried after seeing these videos i in no way whatsoever intended to be a whistleblower here i just wanted to alert people and i hope that everyone will take that stand when they see things around them that need to be brought to the attention of authorities or schools that's what I, my hope is the student was arrested on july 17th cardinal newman did not initially tell parents about the arrest until friday on Monday, the school's principal apologized for the delay. Jenna Kurzina reporting for us there. School officials say the 16-year-old was told he'd be expelled from the school, but was allowed to withdraw instead. Authorities say the suspect could still face more charges. See, ladies and gentlemen, you heard what the last part said. It was going to expel the young man, but instead allow him to withdraw. See, but here's, here's a problem with this story. Now... You know, in a this, and this is South Carolina. This is the st same South Carolina when Dylan Roof killing nine churchgoers in the African American church. So the state of South Carolina don't have no ha uh, hate crime laws in that state. So you have at least five states, five that don't have hate crime laws. South Carolina was one of them. Georgia, Arkansas. Um, Wyoming and I believe Oklahoma, if I'm not mistaken. But 
the thing of it is, is that you, I mean, why? What do you expect when you when you when a guy when a young man, sixteen year old boy, making terrorist threats to African Americans, threatening to kill them as well as killing the entire school, but yet they're not going to charge him with the with the um, racist hate racist hate threat. They're not he's not going to do it because there's no hate crime law. So instead, they they decided to charge him with shoot threatening to shoot up the, his school. But you know what's the, what's going to happen is that again you saw what happened last. They they already said that they were threatened to expel him, but instead allow him to withdraw the school. And they say he may seek more criminal charges. Was that also that's not going to happen because if they did, it would have happened right then and there. It would it would it would have been happening. So it it seems to me that you have first you would I, I made a, I did a story. Before this video about what happened in Georgia, when a white teen kicked an assistant principal, then threatened to shoot up his school in Georgia, in Marietta, Georgia, Cobb County, Georgia. Now this story in South Carolina, and you, and you see in a video that he was shooting at a box, thinking it's black people he's shooting. That's a threat. That's a that's a uh, that's a racist threat. But you know South Carolina ain't gonna do nothing because there's no hate crime law. Unless the state senator or the state congressman um, go ahead and pass the law, pass this bill with with stopping hate crime, the stuff like this will not go on. Look what happened to Dylan Roof, by the way. Dylan Roof killing nine church African American church goers, church goers in in that church, and there's no hate crime then. So obviously, unless the unless um some lawmakers. Um, try to create a bill to have a hate crime law in South Carolina. Stuff like this will continue to happen. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.